gieo mầm yêu thương hạnh phúc đồng hành cùng con trẻ You are listening to the Bilingual Fairy Tale series, a product from Cultural House of Youth in Ho Chi Minh City. Merge, merge, unmerge, unmerge. What could it mean? Is is this some kind of magical spell? Well, let's find out together in this story named The Hundred Note Bamboo Tree. Let's travel back in time to an old village in Vietnam, and together we will discover a story of these magical words. What are you waiting for? Let's get right into the story. Once upon a time, in the faraway village, lived a poor farmer. He lost his parents at a young age, so he worked hard every day, helping the locals to earn money to live by. He was well known for his hard work and honesty. From planting the field, harvesting plants, pounding rice, he didn't shy away from hard work. Everyone in the village was fond of his character. In the same village, there also lived a rich old man. The old man wanted to hire a strong and young farmer to work for him. Though he was rich. He was a very greedy man. He did not want to pay the young farmer, so he and his wife planned a scheme to trick the young farmer. The rich old man called the farmer and said, "If you work in my fields for three years, I will let you marry my precious daughter." The rich old man's daughter was well known for her beauty and gentleness. She was admired by everyone in the village and the whole land. The kind farmer believed the rich old man's offer in a heartbeat. He agreed to work for him, season after season. People could always find him working diligently on the fields, no matter under the hot sun, rain, or bad weather. And in each harvesting season, he brought back tons of rice and fortune for the rich old man. Thanks to the young farmer's hard work, the old man's family got richer and richer every year. Soon, three years had passed, and it was time for the rich old man to fulfill his promise to the young farmer. He was so happy to marry the most beautiful woman in the village. He had already fallen in love with her. However, the rich old man never wanted to have him as his son-in-law. Rich old man thought to himself, "Hmm, how can I give away my beautiful daughter to a poor orphaned guy like him?" Again, he came up with a plan to fool the poor farmer. The rich old man called the young farmer and said, "My son, you have been working so hard. Now I will give my daughter to you. However, at every wedding, the groom needs to bring a present. Now I want you to go into the forest and find a bamboo tree with exactly one hundred notes." I need the bamboo tree to make chopsticks for the guests attending your wedding. As naive and kind he is, the farmer again believed the rich old man's lie. He cheerfully agreed and headed into the forest. As soon as the farmer left, the rich old man married his daughter off to another rich guy in the village. They threw a huge party with lots of food such as beef, pork, sticky rice, and wine. Meanwhile, the young farmer wandered in the forest for a long time, searching high and low for a bamboo tree with exactly one hundred notes. Not losing his hope, he continued his search and came by the seemingly oldest bamboo tree cluster. 
he began to cut down the tallest bamboo, despite its thorn ripped off his shirt and skin. When the big bamboo tree fell, he counted the notes. Once, then twice, yet the tree had only 40 notes. The young farmer felt devastated. He sat down and burst into tears. Suddenly, he saw an old man with the fair hair approaching him. The old man was Bud, a fairy godfather. Bud asked the young farmer, Oh, my dear strong boy, why are you crying? The farmer wiped his tears and told the fairy godfather the whole story. After listening to the young farmer's story, Bud told him, Now, I will help you. First, go and cut down 100 separated bamboo notes for me. The farmer was slightly confused about his request, but he complied anyway. Bud stood in front of a pile of 100 bamboo notes. He pointed into the notes and told the farmer to say the following spell three times. Merge! Merge! As soon as he said the spell out loud, the bamboo note pieces magically merged together and formed a long bamboo tree with 100 notes. However, the bamboo tree was too large and heavy for the young farmer to carry. He asked Boot for help. Boot smiled and said, When you want the bamboo notes to fall into pieces, read this spell three times. Unmerge! Unmerge! The farmer followed Boot's instruction and it worked. The bamboo tree's notes unmerged and fell back into 100 pieces. Delighted, he turned around to thank the fairy godfather, but he had already disappeared. The young farmer packed the bamboo notes into two large bunches and carried them back to the village. Well, thank God the fairy godfather had appeared to help the young farmer. The fairy godfather oversaw that the honest and kind farmer was tricked by the selfish rich old man. As there is no such thing in the world as a bamboo tree with 100 notes. But still, do you think the rich old man would accept his defeat or he will come up with another challenge for the young farmer? Stay tuned and let's continue the story. Oh, and let's not forget the magical spells that Bud had taught the young farmer. Merge, merge, and unmerge, unmerge. I'm sure they're not just ordinary spells. As soon as the young farmer arrived at the old rich man's house, he saw the party and realized he has been fooled by the rich old man. The young farmer was boiled with anger. He put down the bamboo bunches outside the garden and called out the rich old man. The rich old man came out of the garden and saw two piles of bamboo notes. He laughed. <laughs> I command you to bring back a hundred notes bamboo tree, not one hundred bamboo notes. How there, a poor and stupid guy like you dream of marrying my beautiful daughter. The young farmer didn't answer his mocking question. He mumbled, Merge, merge, three times. And the bamboo notes merged together in a flash. The rich old man could not believe what he saw. He wanted to touch the bamboo tree to make sure it's real. He even tried to break the tree, but it was no use. The notes were firmly connected. While well, the rich old man's hands were on the bamboo tree, the young farmer shouted the magic spell. Merge! Merge! 
and the rich old man's hands were also stuck onto the tree. He tried to free himself by pulling up and down, but it was all in vain. The rich old man panicked and shouted for help. His family members, one by one, tried to free the rich old man from the tree by pulling him. The young farmer continued the magic spell. Merge, merge! Again and again. In the end, the rich old man's wife, his brother, his parents, his servants, and all the guests who attended the party were all stuck together. The rich old man cried out of terror and begged the young farmer to set them free. He promised to marry his daughter to the young farmer and would never trick him again. Thinking that the rich old man had learned his lesson, the farmer slowly said, Emerge, emerge, three times. In a heartbeat, the 100 tree notes fell into pieces. And so all the people who were freed and collapsed all over the garden. As promised, the rich old man married his daughter to the young farmer. And as time went by, the rich old man slowly became less selfish and greedy with others. The young farmer and his new wife lived happily ever after. It's great that the farmer had a well-deserved happy ending, don't you think? Thanks to being kind, honest, and hardworking, when he faced trouble, the fairy godfather was willing to help him. Remember kids, kindness always pays off. So you should always treat everyone around you with a nice and kind heart. That's the end of our story today. We will meet again in the next fairy tale. Goodbye and stay safe. Gieo mầm yêu thương hạnh phúc